Dear Tim and Moby, what is graphic design used for? Sincerely, Macy. Well, people use graphic design everywhere. You can see it in books, road signs, magazines, the internet, and tons of other places. Graphic design is essentially a form of visual communication. It uses words, images, and symbols to convey an idea. Graphic designers also strive to make their work appear interesting, eye-catching, and fun, like my poster here. I want to communicate the idea that my new robot enthusiast group is, is way cool and that people should think about joining. I'm using photography to help convey my message. Here it's pictures of robots. I also use typography to drive home the point that this group is kind of for techies. Um, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm a bit of a techie. Anyway, typography is the use of different typefaces or fonts in a piece of graphic design. I used a font that looks sort of, you know, computery, so that people who like technology will know that this club's for them. Right, it would have had a much different effect if I'd used some sort of a script, let's say. Or, or a handwriting typeface. Or something else. And there's other stuff, too. The heart is a graphic representation of the idea of love. Everyone who sees it will know what it means, even though I didn't really spell it out. Every element in a work of graphic design conveys the intended message. That includes the color, the size, shape, placement, you name it. And everything combines in a way that's noticeable and easy to understand. Well, actually, graphic design has been with us as far back as the first known artists. Cave drawings are thought to be the earliest graphic representations of life. Once paper was invented, people started using that to design things like books. And the popularization of the printing press in the mid-1400s really pushed things along. But graphic design mostly took off in the 19th and 20th centuries. A lot of this was due to advertising. Companies realized they could sell more products if they used well-designed packaging, printed advertisements, and displays. Posters and billboards used striking images to catch people's eyes and make them pay attention to the message. Logos became very popular during this time, too. A logo is an easy-to-identify graphic symbol that stands for a company or organization. Later in the 20th century, the arrival of computers brought graphic design to a whole new level. Graphics programs gave designers powerful tools to create anything they could imagine. CD-ROM and Internet design really took off in the 1990s. Of course, the uh, technology took a while to get where it is today. But it wasn't long before computers and software could produce just about anything that graphic designers could dream up. Yeah, I'm telling you, graphic design is all over the place. You pretty much can't go anywhere without seeing some graphic design at work. You, you think you have a better idea for my poster? Yeah? Okay, let's see it. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I guess that could work too.